Hello guys, what's going on? I am the alternate, and today I'm just here to give you guys a video on how Top Load Dragster and King to Cause, mostly launch system or any intimate accelerator for that matter, how those work. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned and watch that. And I also wanted to preface this by saying thank you guys so much for the support. I had no idea you guys would like live comp so much because it's not like I have an expensive microphone with crystal clear quality crystal clear quality or anything like that but yeah let's go ahead and get straight into the video if you did like this live call be sure to subscribe give me some more ideas for videos you'd like me to see in the future yeah thank you guys for watching you love the launch on top of the dragster and the for the most part duplicated exact form of that but rougher failed form of that on king to Kaw. well i'm going to explain to you guys how those work so stay tuned i'm going to make this as simple as possible but as complex as possible meaning I'm going to use analogies, models, things I know that everybody knows and can make sense out of. Alright guys, now in the simplest form, this launch is essentially just a pulley. You can see the wheel that's at the end, which is at the beginning of the launch track here, and you can see these small tiny wheels that are at not really the end, but all you can see at the end of the launch track. Now I'm going to show you a picture of what's in the building that that cable coming from those wheels leads into. Now you're probably looking at this picture like, oh my goodness, what is that? Well, it's simpler if you just think about this picture as something you use to roll up your water hose. So that's basically all this is, and now I'm going to explain how all of this is pieced together, because obviously you can't just use a simple pulley to launch 120 miles per hour. Alright guys, now how the system does this is it mixes, it doesn't mix, it compresses hydraulic fuel with nitrogen, I believe, which acts as a spring, and that powers the engines which do turn this motor. So obviously lots of pressure required that's why this system is so complicated and yeah I'm gonna go through the whole launch process so you guys can see it and explain how the car is actually connected because you can't just connect to rope alright guys in this picture it's hard to see it I'm sorry I'm trying to use most of my pictures but um you can see the catch car which is what the car hooks onto now I'm gonna explain catch car how the car hooks onto it and all of that stuff now so when you're waiting to launch, you know when you hear that click and you roll back a little? That is the catch car connecting to your train. Now that click is what connects to the actual catch car. So when that drops down from your train, that's what that clicking noise is. And that gets connected, and then you're ready to launch basically. So once the operator pushes that launch button, your catch car drops and then the operator's job is done. The next is just a system, which I'm going to explain now. Alright, so the rollback, the rollback magnets also drop down. Which, that lets you know you've got about four, three or five, I don't know, I, I think four, four seconds before you launch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this clip. When you hear that th the click under your train, that's how you know you're about to launch. When you hear the magnets drop down, that's how you know you got about four seconds. So go ahead and watch this clip, and that's how you know it, basically when you're going to launch as well. Whether you know when you're going to launch or not, this the force of this launch, it really doesn't matter. So when they click that button, you drop back, and the uh, the fuel is released into the motors. And after about 5-6 seconds, that is when the launch initiates. So after the, the operator pushes those buttons, the fuel is released, and it fuels those motors, and that's when you will you're gone. I mean, the, the amount of force that this launch just generates is absolutely amazing. That's why it's my favorite element. That's why I figured I'd describe it to you guys, because I know the first time I saw this thing and rid, rode this thing, I was like, this is insane. How does this work? Who designed this? But it really is a beautiful system. And unfortunately, it does have a lot of complex parts. But, I mean, it's still a great launch. But, I mean, after that, once you guys reach the top of that hill and you come over the top, there is a sensor that then lets the next car, that then tells the next car that it's okay to be launched. And then it moves that back. 
I mean, it moves that up, and the whole system just repeats itself. So now I'm going to show a few clips of the, the launch mechanisms I've described in this video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's how Top Throw Dragster launches. Be sure to subscribe, comment, oh, and King to Call, sorry. This situation? I think this is King to Call. Okay. You guys decide what you want to do. Can you go on someone's drop or just sit the in the car? in the buildings ain't no app for that turn a dollar into millions ain't no app for that from the ground up to the ceiling ain't no app for that everybody wanna download these days i'ma make an app for that